and welcome to the Chemistry 124 video on how to use a Bunsen burner. Bunsen burners are used to heat up reactions during experimental procedures, so they're found in most laboratories. In this video, we will show you how to correctly light a Bunsen burner, and this is important because gas and open flames are involved. But don't be scared, everything's going to be fine as long as you follow the safety protocol and the procedure shown in this video. The burners consist of an air hole collar, a barrel and a base to which tubing is connected. There are two types of Bunsen burners in the first year labs, so pay close attention to both procedures. Safety protocols. Before you start, make sure that the area around the Bunsen burner is clear from paper, clutter and solvents or anything that is flammable. If you have long hair, make sure your hair is tied up and be cautious of any loose clothes or jewellery. Make sure that all the gas vents are closed before you start and that the tubing is secure. Never cross your arms when lighting the Bunsen burner. Remember that the hand with the match is always opposite the hand closest to the tap. Never leave an open flame unattended. If the flame goes out, make sure to close the gas tap immediately. How to light a Bunsen burner? It is important to close the air hole by rotating the collar. If the Bunsen burner has a side lever, ensure that the lever is open. Light your match and hold it above the opening of the barrel. Slowly open the gas tap at the bench by lifting the tap up and then turning it. Remember to blow out your match. The burner will be lit now and have an orange type flame. Use the collar to close or open the air hole until a bluish flame appears. Once done, close the gas tap and if the burner has a side lever, remember to close that as well.